Welcome, Gemini Cancer, to your numerology reading for October. Hope you friends are doing great out there. If you friends like this, please like and subscribe. And let's see what's going on with you. Straight in here, we have five change. And the completion, nine. Oh. Okay. So you have that change coming through. It's because you're going through this completion. So it's kind of like as soon as you continue to keep changing, you're going to get to the end, which is the completion. That's why they come out this way. So you're in the middle of a change right now. You probably feel this change. It could be even a pug, uh, some kind of tug and pull situation um, that's kind of pulling you in different directions. It uh, could be thought, actual movement. could be both. Um, but we do have five again with the cycle change over here with the transformation and it is this transformation it could like i said it could be an actual transformation of thought that is actually making you take action towards this transformation okay and under the completion brings in new beginnings of course straight from nine straight to one so as soon as you're, you're getting this over with and the transformation is really changed and you feel changed then you have that completion of all that stuff that you were going through, and you have this beautiful new beginning coming in. Alternative, 40. Wow, now you're getting the stability over here with four, so you're feeling much more stable over here, and you're getting more alternatives, having more ideas. It kind of feels like you kind of jumped out of a box that you were stuffed into, <laughs> literally stuffed. And you need this transformation so you don't feel so stuffed, right? So just knowing that you would have different, uh, you know, ideas and different places to be able to move and to transform into, um, it gives you all kinds of new, wonderful ideas around you of what is going on. So this card is literally talking about all the different alternatives to, um, it could be a holistic approach, maybe if you're sick, however it is, right? Um, but it just pretty much means Look, I have alternatives. I don't have to stay stuffed in this box. Well, you know this. This is why you're changing. But it does feel as you're completing the task, the perception is changing. You're like, whoa, now I can do this and I can do this because I don't have this stuck energy. I don't feel like I'm trapped. So it's giving you all these new shifts and all these new directions and all these different um, desires that you can actually go in, right? And it'll bring in all kinds of different solutions as well. So if you have anything that you feel, I don't have a solution at this time, now you can feel like you have better solutions. I think as, as soon as we are not stuck anymore, I think this gives us more opportunity to be able to perceive things differently. And I think that's, you know, that's really what the big, the big issue is in this reading. I'm transforming in thought. Maybe you're even transforming and actually moving away from someone and getting, you know, Maybe feeling stuck in a relationship that you know is not working, that kind of idea as well, or maybe a bad job, and now you're seeing that there's all kinds of things I can do. Okay, so take it how it resonates. This feels a little stuffy, guys, <laughs> for sure. Not a whole lot of place around you to stretch out, right? Now you can stretch, and it is. It's the Ace of Cups. It's bringing it, and it is. It's bringing in all these new, wonderful, fresh new start and all these fresh new ideas um, so that you can stretch your arms and legs. Be able to do other things, yeah. Definitely two of coins. Definitely weighing the pros and cons, but not only that, it's also throwing coins in the air saying, look, I can go here and I can go there. Look at all the directions I have now. I have all kinds of opportunities to go with the new beginnings. You've got the star card. You're looking at things so different now. You see dreams, hopes, promises. There's all kinds of things with the new alternatives. Wow. And you have the four of wands. Wow. You might even be looking at a new person in a different way. Maybe, you know, you just had this transformation out of an old relationship and you're now looking at maybe this, um, wow, this uh, could be anybody. Uh, look at all the cards we have. I'm going to say right now, I'm going to say you're looking maybe at this Aries or this Capricorn and you're saying, look at the ideas that I have. Look at what I, you know, look, I can have this person over here. They look fun, right? 
but you can be passionate and feel different and um, really get moving. And it's this fresh new, you know, energy. Wow. With the magician. Look at all the ones. And it is. There's a lot of balance in that as well. Saying, you know, look at me. I'm really balanced. I'm kind of doing a balancing act over here. Could be a new job, whatever you're passionate about over here with the Four of Wands, because the Four of Wands doesn't have to be a relationship. You can say, I'm passionate about this. Look, I'm going to go do that. Um, I'm passionate about traveling. I'm going to go do that. Maybe you're making hopes and promises for yourself, setting yourself new goals, where you felt like you could never do that before because you were trapped. Emerging. Boy, are you emerging. That is, you know, your soul couldn't have said a better thing because I told you. It feels like you're stuffed in a box and now you're emerging out of the box as she's emerging out of this flower. I am emerging into the light and the joy and ease. Finding myself. Finding the things I want to be passionate about. Maybe you were with somebody who were, was holding you back from everything you were passionate about. They didn't like anything you were doing. And you're like, you know what? I'm tired of this. I only live one life. I want to go have fun. I'm young. I want to do things. Shoot, even if I'm not young, you know, it's not like I'm getting any younger, right? That's how I feel. But you're 46. Yeah, well, I got to go. I'm not getting any younger. You know, it's not like time's going backwards. Voyage, like I said, maybe some of you want to go on a trip. Maybe you want to travel. Maybe they want to sit at home. Maybe you're with a, a homebody and you're saying, I'm tired of being at home. You know what? I don't like our relationship anymore. I don't want to be your boyfriend or your girlfriend anymore because you don't want to, you don't want to voyage with me. You don't want to journey with me. You're boring. I'm only laughing because I actually had a friend that, that did that a couple years back. She got rid of her boyfriend because she, he just, he all he wanted to do is sit around and play video games. He never wanted the movies, didn't want to do anything. You know, she, finally one day she just kind of threw her back into the house, guys. And she came in the house, and um, she's telling me, I looked right at him, and I said, you know what, I'm leaving, and I'm going on a cruise. <laughs> and he was just like, bye. Well, because he wasn't paying attention. He was too busy playing video games. And then, of course, she got up, she left, she never came back, and then he's calling, saying, where are you? And she says, on my way to Tahiti. <laughs> so I, every time I think of that, I always think of that story, because then he was like, when did that happen? Oh, well. When you weren't paying attention to me, when you were playing your video games. It's so funny. So freedom. Maybe you that. You know, I'm, that, that's what it is. You're emerging. You want some fun. You want some freedom. It's time to get some boundless freedom. It surges through me. It's time to live life. No matter what it is. I don't care if this is a job. Maybe they work you too much. Right? Whatever it is. But however it is, it's, yeah, and you surrender. All is well, I surrender to my inner guidance because I surrender because I know that if I don't do it now and I don't have this completion, thank you for the completion. Thank you for the, the you know, the change. Because all I can think of is maybe it was even thank you for the challenge that you gave me so that I can transform to find myself and know exactly what I want. So maybe in the end... You know, this person put you through such a challenge, you kind of lost yourself, and now you're emerging to find yourself. Well, that's what it looks like. And now you can say, I can go roam, be free, be happy, and go find the things I want to do. Can't get any more beautiful than that, right? Changing for the better. Now you can go find somebody who is like-minded. Well, we see that with the star. Find someone who's like-minded. Find somebody, you know, now you can go out there and say, okay, well, I don't want to be with this type of person because they're boring, right? Or they held me back from all my dreams and goals or whatever it is. You can go find somebody that they like the same things, right? They don't have to like everything, but at least if they like a lot of the same things that you want to do, like travel, be free, right? You know, quads, uh, go hiking, whatever the heck you want to do, right? But you definitely don't want it to be with somebody who... Feels like they have you trapped and they're kind of a stick in the mud. So, okay. And you just keep manifesting and allow the magic to emerge as you're emerging. Sound like a great thing to me. Okay, my friends. Until next time. Peace and love. Bye-bye.